Hey Aries, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your mermaid guidance. This is going to be timeless reading and we'll get started with a mermaids and dolphins card to see what messages the mermaids have. Spirit, what messages, what guidance do the mermaids have for Aries. And we have the blue whale, number 40. You will achieve your dreams through innovative solutions. So I feel like there is, um, this could possibly be about planning stages of trying to manifest something. Um, I feel like somebody else got this card, but I can't remember who it was. What else do we have for Aries? Okay, and we have the killer well. Perseverance and de determination bring results. So you may be, maybe have recently been tempted to give up on a particular dream, but it's like spirit is saying, just, you know, think about this um, more logically and how can you make this happen? That's what it feels like. All right, but let's get what the book says here. So number 40, Blue Whale. Okay, so the key word is freedom. The blue whale, the largest animal that has ever lived, predicts a momentous event is on the horizon. What occurs will set you free to move in the wide world or occupy the main ocean. Faith, fidelity, chastity, and loyalty are symbolized by its color. You will speedily overcome any obstacles in the way of a plan you have high hopes for. Assured of success, your fears are unfounded. The sunny shores of safety, peace of mind, and contentment, which are well-deserved, will greet you, but only if you get in the swim. Feeding in the cold waters before migrating to warm seas to give birth signifies that preparing the way leads to fruitfulness. Great treasures await you. So yeah, there may have, may have been some kind of fears kind of getting in your head a little bit about, you know, should I stick with this or whatever. And Spirit is saying that there will be some kind of event that really um, breaks things wide open and you'll clearly see that, you know, you know what, there's no time like the present. Let's pursue this. And so then making a plan for that. So let's see what this killer whale energy is about. Number 34, the key word is wisdom. You may be in danger of exploitation or deception. Investigate the facts and look beyond an impression presented. Alternating white spots along the back of the killer whale make it look smaller, fooling its prey, allowing easier attacks. You need a clever mind to match your wise opponent because the killer whale detects, removes, and lays mines for the military. The feelings someone expresses may prove to be insincere since this fearsome predator is the only cetacean that eats its own kind. Your future is happy. The killer whale easily outwits its prey, overcoming and averting peril by adapting to all environments and available resources. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's just like saying, like, you're assured success because of everything that you've been through and everything within you, your own instincts, your own, <clears throat> excuse me, internal wisdom are what's going to carry you through to any victory, anything that you truly desire and are truly meant to achieve. Okay. So let's see where Aries needs to focus. <clears throat> Spirit, what does Aries need to focus on? And we have discernment, okay? And I feel like that was very clear. It was about, you know, being clear on something, like interpreting, not just taking things quite at face value, but also, you know, having that discernment to um, see beyond what is, you know, in reality. What What is reading be between the lines or reading what's behind the mask when someone's presents things a certain way. 
All right, what else do we have for Aries? And we have dreaming. So this blue whale was talking all about achieving your dreams. So, you know, spirit is saying, keep on dreaming, pursue your dreams, because there's nothing you can dream that's, that's too big. And that's really what I'm getting here. So let's see how this is playing out for you. What's the story here for Aries? Spirit, what's the story for Aries? And we have the King of Wands. And I feel like this is you. This is your energy here. And that's all about being... Really bringing passion and leadership and fire to everything that you desire. Going after it and knowing, you know, fully confident that you're going to achieve. Because you're not going to go after anything that isn't worth you. That isn't, you know, what you truly desire. You're not going to go after it at all. It's beautiful energy. Okay, so what is the challenge here for Aries? And the five of coins. So this could be about, you know, wanting to do all this grand things, but in the back of your mind, letting yourself believe that maybe you don't have enough to make this happen. Maybe there's nobody there to help support you. Um, and I do feel like there is people that support you. You just have to turn around and look. It's like they're right behind you. They're surrounding you. And it's sometimes you get caught up in your head with what you want in your own ego, in a sense, and determine that you're, you're doing all these things alone when in actuality you have, dis, you have um, support around you. The advice is the yeah, the Eight of Swords. Again, this feeling of loneliness and getting caught in your head like you don't know how you're going to get out of a situation or how you can make your dreams come true. And the truth is, is you do, you know, there is a way out and it's very clear if you just get out of your head and use your heart, you know, more, your intuition to really show you the way, okay, and, and stop getting into the what if and why can't I and how come this and, and really just focus all of this energy, all of this mental energy on what you desire and how all the things that you do have um, to make that happen. And you, your spirit is pointing out your discernment. You'll recognize the, those, you know, kind of lies that you're telling to yourself and what's real. What's the outcome here? And we have the ace of coins and this is true abundance. This is an opportunity to really make your dreams come true. All right. I know you can't see all of the cards in there, but it's more about the interpretation, hopefully. So, why is this King of Wands here for Aries? And we have the Six of Wands. So, definite, you know, having gone through very much battles and wars and you have this victory and it's that's what's going to motivate you to keep on going you have a victory you're being acknowledged for that oops and you may want to check out Sagittarius reading because there is the same um, vibe within that where there is you know having gone through a lot of challenges and overcome them that's your motivation to keep going and to believe in yourself and understand that you have what it takes to reach your dreams and there is no dream that's too big right so why is this five of coins here and we have judgment so I feel like this is really letting you know that you know this is part of your life path and you know your higher purpose and angels are there supporting you as well as other um, you know your spiritual tribe, which is those that you love around you, those that have passed on, um, you have a lot of support. And I think that, you know, when you allow this type of energy to take you over and make you believe that you're all alone in a situation, 
I feel like that's when you start to detour off this path towards your wish fulfillment. So it's really about looking at things and, you know, knowing that you've been through so much and you've, and you're here today to talk about it. That's a victory in itself. What did you learn from those situations that can bring about that inner strength now that, that wisdom that, you know, you learned a lot from going through all of that. All right, so what is this Eight of Swords about? And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So could be an earth energy around you, but I feel like this is you really, um, you know, breaking free from that mental negative pattern and really finding growth and independence and abundance as well as, you know, being able to nurture, support, um, and, you know, providing security for a family. So it's, um, so you could be a mom and this could be where you're really, you know, recognizing, wait a minute, I do all of this for my family. I am, you know, and I'm worth that being done for me as well. So why is this Ace of Coins here? And we have the Ten of Wands. So it's about closing out a cycle of heavy burdens, of taking everything on your shoulders. And it's like, you know, they're both carrying loads here. But look how easy it is for him. He's got this golden coin of abundance. This is all just burdens and carrying everything on your shoulders. And you don't have to do it alone. I feel like that is the main thing here. You have support. You have um, connections around you that are there to help you and are there to support you. All right, let's get some guidance here for Aries. What guidance do we have for Aries, Spirit? What's the guidance here? And we have competition, some courage and self-confidence. So I feel like this is talking, this is kind of that five of wands energy and, you know, which is competition. But I feel like what you need to recognize is that you are the one getting in your own way. And there is no competition. This is your dreams coming true. So, you know, this is about you having the inner strength to just keep pushing forward no matter what. All right. What other guidance do we have? And we have celebration, let go and have fun. And this is really that like Leo energy of really, um, you know, enjoying the path while you're on it, you know? And, and it's like when you have confidence and courage, um, challenges come your way and it's almost like you can enjoy them because you know that you have what it takes the strength to overcome those and even when it's a little bit sticky you know all it does is add to the interest of the situation is you know it's not easy but that makes it all the more um i, I want to say tasty when you receive that victory like it wasn't just thrown at you. It wasn't just easy, but it makes it all the more fulfilling. So those are the messages that came through for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.